Here in the United States, the municipal bond market has a problem, and it has nothing to do with defaults. The market is frozen, you might say. Muni bond issuance has sunk to the lowest level in years, making it tougher for states, municipalities, and public authorities to raise money. Brian Mayhew is one of the biggest players in the Muni market. He is CFO of the Metropolitan Transportation Commission in charge of financing all transportation in San Francisco and the Bay Area. Brian is here with us on the Inside Track in New York this morning. Brian, nice to see you. you. Uh, let's talk about what's going on in the Muni market. People obsess to a certain degree about this issue of defaults, but that's not what concerns people like you, the people who actually invest in the debt, and for the most part, the people who invest in it, I'm sorry, issue the debt, and those who invest in it. So what has changed to make this market freeze up? Well, uh, I guess a couple of things. One is uh, you had an awful lot of issuance last year. And, uh, you know, as people took advantage of the Build America program, and then you sort of combine that with as you got the major project financing sort of out of the way, then the, the, the sort of traditional tax exempt world had a wide open field to issue their debt. So you sort of had a, a sort of perfect storm last year of uh, the ability to get into the market, get access and get liquidity at very favorable rates. And then you combine that with it has been sort of a deluge of bad news, uh, pardon me, from the media side. And that starts with, you know, a certain person saying, you know, that, that there's a, a tsunami of defaults coming and then somebody else saying we're going to get out of it. Then somebody else saying it's going to be hundreds of billions of dollars. And money's been defaults. coming out of municipal bond funds. Yes and no. Uh, it's coming out of the, the institutional side, but if you look at the retail side, what we call the widows and orphans side of it, uh, that's actually been going up. So what kinds of challenges does this create for a person in your position? You're a municipal finance official. You need to go out and raise money for all kinds of projects, like the Bay Bridge, for example. Yes, it, it, does, it makes it tough because you, you, you're looking at more than timing now. You're looking at both access, size, uh, for example, in our, in our case, you have a project that draws $100 million a month. You actually need to feed it. And uh, if the market only lets you issue in smaller sizes, $100, $200 million, it's, it's hard to feed that machine. So um, it's very hard to, to sort of look at the market right now and try to find out where your opportunities are. How does the tide of fiscal conservatism that's sort of sweeping the nation to a degree, not to mention the epic deficits in California uh, affect you? Does it pose any threats to the projects you have underway right now or any of those that you envision? Not to the projects. Um, certainly within the region uh, there is issues of being able to get to the market and access to the market. Some of our projects are actually financed um, by the state of California and the state of California has sort of stood down for quite a while um, and that's sort of, if you've got projects that are ready to go and ready to be bid and they're backed by California bonds, uh, then you have projects that are stalled. And you stall projects, especially in this economy, A, you lose uh, a very favorable bidding market, and B, you actually start losing jobs and deposits and things like that. So you get big concerns there. Not just the jobs lost, but I think everybody is coming to recognize the idea that transportation infrastructure is a key competitive asset. Uh, not just for the state of California or the Bay Area, but maybe the United States as a whole. Well, uh, I think you said it better than I could have. Um, I mean, this you're, you're actually looking at um, uh, an infrastructure that actually the whole world knows needs repair, needs to be improved to, to maintain our competitiveness both nationally and locally. And yet, you know, as you get through it, investing in it has has many many returns. I have one time for. One quick question. What would fix this problem? Do we need to bring back the Build America Bonds program? Um, the short answer, yes. Uh, you know, we lost a lot of tools. We've lost insurance. We lost variable rates. Uh, liquidity is... is uh, so the a Build America Bond program in, in a form would, would help sort of free up the entire market because it opens up uh, our side to multitudes of new investors and then of course then the tax exempt side, the traditional side can go up and has more access to the retail side so that I think that would be a tremendous help to the market. Brian great to have you here in the inside track with some insights into what is needed to fix the municipal bond market. It's Brian Mayhew he's the chief financial officer of the San Francisco Bay Area's Metropolitan Transportation Commission. Dear